I'm going to show you how easy it is to mount your gamma graph on a backing so that it doesn't constantly fold in or out. So obviously my art's not done. You want to do this after your artwork is glued on to the backing template, but you will need three of these strips of paper. You can see it's the same height as the backing of the gamma graph, um, but it is wider. It's two inches wide and you need this backing, which is like chipboard, a thin cardboard that we're gonna to use to keep this thing sturdy. So with these three tabs, you're gonna go ahead and fold them all in half hot dog. That means the long and skinny way, just like so, until you have three of them, like I have here. And they are gonna get mounted on the back of your gamma graph so that they create a flat surface. Like, can you see at the bottom there? This is the one place that I would suggest Liquid glue is going to work well for you. Most of the time, it's just too liquidy. But in this case, it's going to be great. You want one on the left, one on the right, and one in the center. So there is not like an actual center center. You're just going to pick a spot somewhere near the center and call it good. And you just want to pay attention to making sure you have a flat spot when you're done gluing these down. Now all three of these flat spaces here, here, and here are going to get glued to here. So I'm going to put glue on all of them at once. You could also do this with a glue stick. Just our glue sticks tend to peel. And I'm going to flip it and I'm going to stick it down. So I want to make sure that my sides are nice and even. And there we go. It's mounted. Once it's dry, of course, it will no longer zigzag in and out. I should have nice, even folds at the top and the bottom. And I have mounted my gamma graph.